Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and I recently attended Google's 2017 hardware event. And this is me looking hella greasy after filming for a few hours under some pretty hot lights. But besides my shiny face, after watching the live product launch and after playing with the products themselves, I realized something. I realized that Google is becoming the new Apple in all of the good ways. Now, what I mean by this kind of hefty statement is that Google really isn't replacing Apple completely, but rather becoming a highly competitive brand in all aspects of hardware. Since last year's events, Google has really evolved its hardware offerings. Google now offers a small phone and a big phone, multiple smart assistant devices, a laptop, albeit a bit questionable, smart earbuds, multiple TV devices, virtual reality devices, accessories, and a lot more. And in the areas that Google hasn't totally owned, there are third-party companies producing products, including wearables, other Chrome devices, Android phones, of course. But those made by Google products that are actually made by Google specifically are basically an ecosystem of products that are built in unison and work well together better than ever for a killer experience. And in general similarity, Apple's product lineup has always been about this core concept. Products that complement each other and products that work together very well to create that core experience in general. And that's one thing that keeps Apple customers Apple customers for a long period of time. When you're built into the ecosystem, it's kind of hard to leave. Google, however, has really caught up to Apple in this regard for product hardware, going from just those kind of unapproachable, somewhat niche Nexus devices to the much more mainstream, consumer-focused Pixel devices, which are very friendly, very approachable, and are much more focused on the mass market. They really do target both iPhones and other Android phones on the market as well. They target iPhones by really giving that overall same level of simplicity and speed, both the customization of Android and a few more useful advanced features. Pixel phones combat other Android phones by going with the overall mindset of keeping the experience front and center, not adding in a whole bunch of bloatware and other really ridiculous software features, but keeping with the core software features as well as speed, usability, and overall software updates in the future. To prove that Google really is serious about hardware now more than ever, besides releasing like 50 different products two days ago, think about the whole recent HTC deal. Google didn't buy the whole HTC company, but acquired many phone engineers as well as other assets to eventually scale up on its hardware division. Senior Vice President of Hardware at Google, Rick Osterloh, even stated that right now sales really aren't the main focus, but more so consumer satisfaction and the overall user experience. The eventual goal, of course, is to sell a whole bunch of Google hardware products to make them a mass market lineup and not niche products at all. Okay, so Google's goals so far are definitely very ambitious, but from what I've seen so far, I'm really amazed. So much so that the Pixel 2 XL may even become my next daily driver smartphone, but who knows. And while Google's becoming the new Apple in many ways regarding hardware, this is definitely a good thing. And thank you for watching.